let's see. We ran into some problems yesterday, both with deaths and with tech, so that's fun. We do have a new Scorpio. Because, unfortunately, our last absolute champion failed in his mission. He did good while he was around. He really did. It was impressive. Okay, so now it's time for us to head into the... <sighs> Team Flare at the Pokeball Factory. Uh, I would love to, but Gengarite isn't on my list, as far as I recall. Oh, hey, Dorcas. I'm just gonna ignore them. the greed for these items. Oh, yes, that's totally useful to me. Maybe I should have instituted a system of some kind where if I find a Max Revive, then I'd be able to... <laughs> then I'd be able to end up reviving a gate Pokemon instead of the key permanently being shattered. Now, nah, I'll stick with the current set of rules. I don't want to overcomplicate things by changing things around now. That just is lame. When you start a challenge, you always need to follow through. Through good or ill, whether you win or lose, you gotta make sure that you do not fail it. Well, no. It's okay to fail it. It's not okay to cheat, though. Right there. Ooh, that's nice. Alright, so I think I need to talk to the Dorcases down there, and they'll help me bust in. Hello? Well, that seems like a bad idea. Oh, you guys are about to miss all the fun. Damn, Brad, all Sue! Sorry. Playing Persona 5. Alright. What do you mean, let's check? I'm the one going in. I'm the one that has to fight all the trainers. Oh, I guess there's maybe a double battle on, like, the top floor or something that he comes up to help with. Hello, yes. Uh, I'd like a tour. Crap. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that was actually a sick burn. Okay. I'm proud of you, man. I'm a nameless team player. Pro yeah, all of you are nameless. That That's the joke. Huh. You might have dry skin. No? Got it. When in doubt, killing things with fire just plain works. Yes, we know. Alright. Not this crap again. So, I don't think we have any big stuff on the docket for today. It's just progression. All right, let's check the map, see what it's got to say. Let's see, the Pokeball Factory, um, Route 15, the Lost Hotel, 
Um, hang on, let me find my notes. I think I've got some potential lost hotel mods. Um, only Horologium it looks like, and we still have one, but it'll be good to pass that. Dendamil, I believe. Yep, that's where Frost Cavern is, where we can find Plue. You mean you haven't gotten him yet? No. Ah, I was really hoping to, scare, to uh, startle you here. Oh, no, no, I did jump at least slightly. If that makes you feel any better. A little bit. Glad to see I still, uh, I still got it. Freaking Phantom Thief with the ambush. Hey, somebody's got to. True enough. Alright, so... But yo, I'm back. For the first time in a couple in a while. Well, you showed up towards the end of the Wednesday stream last week. That's that is true. I just don't know if I ended up getting recorded or not because we were having tech errors. Yes. Which was fun. Which that's a yeah. So hopefully, hopefully it all works out. Yeah. So currently we are in the Pokeball Factory. Ah, so that's what the factory setting is. Yep. And we're just killing everything with fire. As you should. Yes. Alright, so how far are you in this Lucy Lock? Let's see, we are in... Mm. We just beat gym number six, so there's only two gyms left. Oh, wow. And then beating whatever team is on this game, right? These idiots, yeah, with the ugly suits. Team Flare? That, yeah, they, they think they've got Flare, they're funny. Ha. Ah. Aha! Lucy. It, it fell off the factory line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. Annoying. And there's nothing over here, so I just have to nope. keep using the line. This is dangerous, don't try it at home. But seriously. Oh my do No, Shinderu! None of you. Um, I don't think we have any encounters except for Blue today, depending on how far we end up going. Mm hmm. So, are you trying to. S Sorry. No, you're fine. What's up? I was gonna ask is this the part where you take down the, te the evil team of this. Uh, game, or is that later in the story? Alright, you've never played X and Y. Nope. Uh, that's later on. Okay. When we get Cause this kind of reminds me of, uh... I, Cause, like, I was basing it off on, obviously, the first gen. Cause, right. you know, you stop Giovanni's Team Rocket before you face Giovanni. Uh, this is basically the equivalent of, like, Silphco or Lavender Tower. Where they show up and uh, cause okay. trouble before you have to actually take them down. Gotcha. When they actually start to take the teams more seriously. Well, I guess, depending on who you ask. Come on, don't send out anyone bad for me. That's terrible for me. Shit. Okay, don't use Pursuit, you absolute scumbag. It didn't use Pursuit, the absolute scumbag. The Oh, so we're playing this game, huh? Joke's on you. No, no, no. This is genuinely might be bad. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because it's a dark type and it can hurt ghosts. Oh, no. And nothing of concern happened. Okay, so we, we could be fine. Yeah, I was shocked by that. Like, I expected it to use Crunch or something. Which would be really, really bad. It would have been appropriate. Mm hmm Okay, Bug Bite over Pin Missile. Hell yes! Learn something! So, Scorpio has a Lucky Egg on. Okay, good. Meaning he gets enhanced EXP. Which is good, because he's so pretty low level, low -level compared Precisely. to the others. Yeah, remember last stream the original Scorpio died, so I had to go That's find right. the new contract, and he needs leveled up. Aha! 
A metal coat. Ooh. Well, that would be useful to me, but it's not. It's one of those evolution trade items. Yeah. Like precise or it makes season work. Yep, and Onyx and Steelix, precisely. Yep. Hyper Ball. I like how it existing in the Pokeball Factory implies they use metal coats on certain types of Pokeballs. That's interesting. Alright, so it's interesting. I've never seen a Pokeball Factory before, so this uh, is Yeah, this is pretty unique. Yeah, this is pretty new. I believe the idea of it is that this region's far enough away from some of the others that it genuinely needs a alternative means of producing Pokeballs. Interesting. Oh, that's fair enough right there. Automate the factory to lighten the burden per dump Pokemon, but it also means there are a few people, so the factory was taken over almost instantly. That's, that's a good point. Oh, how nice. That is nice. Yeah, that's why you always check with NPCs, because sometimes they'll give you an item, sometimes they'll heal you, it's just a nice thing. Yep. This, this one's just she chanting likes about balls. balls. She's like balls. Voila. Insert joke about Ko from Persona 4 here. She knows very well. They knew what they were doing when they wrote that, when they localized that game. Oh, did you hear Did you hear about the news that Sega's trying to push for worldwide release dates for Atlas games? Yep. I've heard about that. But that'd be pretty that'd be pretty good. I mean We wouldn't have to wait a year would... for the next Persona 5 game. Well, yeah. I mean, of course that would also mean that they there would be some added work to make sure the game works in all the systems, but... But hey, I mean, that would mean more people will be, be able to play their games. I mean, which just seems to be what's going on for the most part. You know, what Sega is pushing it. Yeah. Because right now... I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. I am behind you now. Accept your fate. <laughs> I really just wake up and choose violence in Pokemon games, don't I? You really do. <laughs> Oh, is that the leader? No, no, these are the admins. Oh. I don't know if there were any admins in Red and Blue. Oh, wait, they did add one for Let's Go Eevee. Right, it's exactly. Things like Archie. Archer, yeah. Archie. Archer, yes. Well. Yeah, so... Admins are, like, higher up than regular grunts, and then there's named admins who are even more higher up. The elite of the elite, if you will. Gotcha. The creme de la creme. The uh, right-hand man to the main man. Yeah, precisely. Oh no, it's Home a doom. doom. No, no, that's genuine concern for a minute. No, hang on, I've got this. Virgo, use your signature move. The jackhammer? Like, no, no, you, you're right. <laughs> That's a lot faster than Virgo does it. For real. To be fair, I think Virgo just does it slow for the humor of it. She's surprisingly self-aware. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That move is totally useless if you only have two Pokemon on your team, you moron. Wah, wow. So, Beat Up is a Dark-type move that does more damage than number of conscious Pokemon you have on your team. I see. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. I've never found a use, genuine use for it, because even when it hits six times, it's not that strong. No, uh -huh. Ares, you must cease. Please let me evolve, dammit. No, you wouldn't be pink then. That's not the area's way. <laughs> this is the way. Oh boy. We're not bringing that back. VR chat's dead. Is it? 